Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can auto publish AI generated articles on your WordPress website. Let me show you some blog posts that I have published automatically on the WordPress website using OpenAI ChatGPT. This is a featured image which is also created using ChatGPT. And this is the article that I have created. You can see that it has created different featured images and it has also published the blog post automatically. Now what I need to do, I only need to enter the topic in the Google spreadsheet and it is going to create a blog post and the featured image automatically and it is going to publish the article on the WordPress website. And the tool that I'm going to use is AutoKit. Formerly it was known as a Sure Triggers and I have already published many videos on Sure Triggers. I have shown you how to send WhatsApp notification for a WooCommerce orders. So if someone makes a purchase on your WooCommerce website, it is going to send automated WhatsApp message to the customer. I have also shown you how to connect the Elementor contact form with the Google Sheet and how to send the data in Google Sheet using Sure Triggers or AutoKit. If you want to watch all these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can auto publish AI generated articles and for that I have used the pre-designed workflow. So I do not even need to create a workflow from the scratch. There are many workflows which are pre-designed and you can use them. So we are going to use Google Sheet. We are also going to use ChatGPT to create a blog post and we are going to connect the WordPress website where all the blog posts will be published. So basically we will need three different platforms, WordPress, Google Spreadsheet and OpenAI ChatGPT. You can also use other AI platforms. You will see the list of AI platforms that you can use. And using AutoGate, you can connect more than 1000 different platforms. You can automate the process between all these platforms. Let me show you the pricing also. You can start with the pro plan, which will cost you $9 per month, in which you will get 5000 tasks per month. You can create unlimited workflows. You can connect five different WordPress websites. You will have one workplace, a standard support, and you can also use AI agents. Another plan is business plan, which will cost you $19 per month, in which you will get 10,000 tasks per month. And again, you can create unlimited workflows. You can connect unlimited WordPress websites, five workplaces, AI agents, and you will also get access to all the premium apps. So if you want to subscribe to AutoKit, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And here I have some workflows. And this is the workflow that I'm going to use, auto publish AI generated articles. This is one of the pre-designed recipes. If you want to use this workflow, you can simply go to recipes and you will see the workflow under recipe or you can search for that recipe here. And this is how the workflow will look. At the top, we have the trigger point. If I open it, you will see Google Sheets trigger new or updated spreadsheet row. So here we have already created a spreadsheet in Google. And this is the column which will be used to create a trigger. So if I enter something in this column, it is going to trigger this workflow. So you will see the event is new or updated spreadsheet row. Let's click on continue. And this is configure. Now this is a web hook which we will need to add to the Google Sheet. If you don't know how to use it, here you will see an article. If I open this, you will see the process or the steps to connect your Google Sheet with the AutoKit. So I'm going to copy this webhook URL and go to the Google Spreadsheet. At the top, you will see the extensions. Go to extensions, then go to add-ons and click on get add-on. And here you can search for sure triggers webhook. So this is the extension that you need to install so that your Google Spreadsheet will connect with the AutoKit. I have already installed this extension. So that's why it shows uninstall. So you will see an option here, install. You just need to log into your Google account and allow the AutoKit to connect with the Google Spreadsheet. Let's close it. Once the extension is installed, you will see that option here, show a triggers webhook. You will need to go to start setup and it will ask you to enter the webhook URL. So here you can enter the webhook URL and this is the trigger column. You will see the column here, which is A. So that's why I have entered the trigger column A. So if I go back here, this is the webhook URL, which you will need to copy. Enter the webhook URL here and enter the trigger column, which is column one, where we are going to add the new topic. Once done, you can click on send test 
and go back to the AutoKit and here you can test the action. So once the connection is successful, it will show that the connection is successful. All right, I have already tested the action and it is already configured. So this is the first step where we are going to create the trigger action. All right, once done, you can close this option. And now let's go to the next step. The next step is open AI. Now for that, you will need an access to open AI API key. If I go to open AI platform, you will see API key. You can create a new API key and you can enter that API key in the AutoKit. And to use the open AI API key, you will need to add some credits to your open AI account. You can start with the $5 or $10 so that you will get some credits in your open AI account. If I go here, you will see the pricing for all the models which you can use in OpenAI. And if I go to usage, you will see that I have published five different articles using the OpenAI and AutoKit. And I have spent $0.23 to create five blog posts and images. So in $0.23, I'm able to publish five blog posts. So I think it is affordable. So if I go here, this is the app OpenAI. If you want to use any other AI app, you can use the other AI app also. And the event will be create chat completion. So this is the event that we're going to use. And if I go here, select connection, I have named it as AutoKit. There is a spelling mistake. If you do not see any connection here, you can click on create new connection. And here you can add the title for the connection and enter the OpenAI API key here. And after that, it's going to connect your OpenAI account with AutoKit. So once you create a connection, go to next. And from here, you can configure the OpenAI settings. Select the model. I have selected GPT 4.1 mini. You can select different models. You can see the list of all the models which you can use. So select the model. Here you can enter the AI role that you want the open AI to perform. For example, you are a helpful assistant. You are an e-commerce expert. So here the text was already entered in the recipe. If you want to change this role, you can change the role. Below that, you will see the message that you want to send to AI. Here you will see generate a unique blog post title about this topic that is SEO friendly and under 60 characters should not include any quotation marks or punctuation around it. Okay, now this is the message that we are going to send to the chat GPT. This is the topic that we entered here in the spreadsheet. So it is going to take the content from the spreadsheet and it is going to use it here. So first we are going to create a title for the blog post. And these are the maximum tokens. And next to that you will see continue. I have already tested the action and that's why it shows that it is successful. You will see an option to test the action. You will need to test it. And once the connection is successful, it will show that the test is completed successfully. Right. So this is the second step. And the next step is open AI again. And the same connection, we have already created the connection. Let's go to configure. And here you will see the AI role. And the message that we are going to send is write a thousand word blog post on the topic. Now this topic will be a title that we created in the previous OpenAI step, not the new topic that we entered here. It is going to get the post title that we created in the previous step. Include an instruction, three main sections with subheadings and conclusion. Use a friendly and informative tone. Avoid using hashtag or hash symbols in the headings. Use emojis to enhance the readability and engagement. If you want to change this message, you can change this message and you can add your own content here. For example, we have this demo WordPress website, which is for the dentist. So in the message, I can also enter something about the website that we are working on. I have added some extra line in the message. And again, you can test the connection and save. Then let's go to the next option, which is open AI generate image. You will see that event here, generate an image. So we are going to send message to open AI to create an image for the blog post. So this is the event. You will see the list of events that you can select from. And we have selected generate image. Let's go to the next step. And this is the prompt. You will see the prompt here. This is the title that we have used and the scene should be visually appealing, professionally lit and suitable for use as a blog header image. Include relevant elements that clearly illustrate the concept. Do not include any text in the image. 
So this is the message that we are going to send to the OpenAI and based on this message it is going to create an image. At the top we have create a high quality photorealistic image that represents this topic. So this is the title that we generated using OpenAI in the first step. And the model that we have selected is DAL A3. So you can select the model also. And after that, you can go to test and test the action. Once the connection is successful, it is going to show that it is successful. So this is the third step in which we created image for the blog post. Now the next step is WordPress. So here you will see the WordPress. In this step, we need to connect our WordPress website with AutoKit. In order to connect the WordPress website, you can go to your WordPress website and install the AutoKit plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin and here search for AutoKit. This is the plugin AutoKit all-in-one automation platform. I have already installed this plugin so that's why it shows active. When you install the plugin, you will see AutoKit in the left hand panel. Let's go to dashboard and the website is successfully connected. In your case, you will see a setup wizard to connect to your WordPress website. You just need to follow the setup wizard and connect your website with AutoKit. Once it is successful, it will show you the message that the connection is successful. Let's go back. Here you will see the connection. This is the demo website that I have already connected. Let's go to the configure settings. At the top, we have post URL and post ID. I don't need to make any changes here. Then we have post type, which will be a post as we are going to publish the blog post. Then we have the status. If you want to auto publish, then select the status as published. If you want to save that blog post on your WordPress website, then you can select the status as a draft and the blog post will be saved as a draft on your WordPress website. In that case, you can go to your WordPress website and manually publish the website. If you want to schedule, you can also set the status as scheduled, pending or private. So in this case, I want to auto publish the blog post. So I have set the status as published. Then we have taxonomy, which is the category. I'm going to select the category. And here you will see the list of categories that you have on your WordPress website. So I'm going to select this one that we have select author. You will see the list of authors on your WordPress website. So I'm going to select the author also. This is the post title, which we generated in the first step using the open AI. If I enter add symbol here, you will see the steps. This is the first step with OpenAI in which we created the post title and you will see the post title that we created here. So this is the option which is selected automatically here as we are using the pre-designed recipe. We don't need to add that option manually. It is already there. In case you do not see it, you can simply enter add symbol and look for the step where we created the title. Below that we have post slug. I don't need to make any changes. And this is the featured image URL that we created using the chat GPT. So if I enter add symbol here, and this is the step where we created the image. So if I go here, you will see the data URL. So this is the URL of the image that we are going to use. And it has already entered the URL here. If you do not see it, you can enter add symbol and look for the image URL in the open AI step. Then we have the content. So this is the content that we generated using chat GPT. So if I enter add symbol, and this is the third step, which we use to create the post content. So you will see the content here. So that is already added here. Then go to next. Then we have post excerpt. We have not created any post excerpt. So I'm going to skip this one. Then you can go to test and test the action. Once the connection is successful, it will show that it is successful. Right. And in the next step, it will go to Google Sheet again and it will look up the spreadsheet row. So I have the connection here, Google Sheet, look up spreadsheet row and Google Sheet. This is the account which is connected. Then we have configure the name of the spreadsheet. You will see the name of the spreadsheet here, which we have linked sheet one. Then we have look up column will be post title and value to search. This is the post title that we generated. And if the row is not created, it is going to create a new row and it is going to enter the information here. So once the blog post is published, it is going to enter the title in the spreadsheet. Then we have next step, which is again a Google Sheet where we are going to update the row. Now this step is not necessary. If you want, you can delete this step 
once you are done with the connections in the workflow you can publish the workflow and it will start working so you just need to enter the topic here and it will create the blog post automatically now let's see how does this work i'm going to enter one topic here so this is the topic that i have entered now it will go through the workflow and it is going to publish an article on the website automatically now it will trigger the action in the workflow all right so it has taken a minute and you will see that this is the post title which is created and it is adding the post title in the next row instead of this row maybe some issue with the workflow that i need to check however let's go back to the post and refresh it and you will see this is the post that is created automatically how to overcome dental anxiety let's click on view and this is the featured image which is created you will see dentist office here this is the title and this is the post content so definitely this workflow is working properly it has created featured image post title and the post content so if you want to auto publish the ai generated articles on your wordpress website you can try using the AutoKit automation platform so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.